was Gandhi and Shukla treated by Rajan Prasad servants. Next question. How was, yeah, how were, because there are two people, how were Gandhi and his accomplice Shukla, Rajkumar Shukla treated by the servant? They were not treated properly. Because Rajan Prasad was not there, he was out of station. Servant could not recognize who these people are. They thought him to be some kind of a, a truth people. They were asked to stay outside. And they were not even allowed to take out water. They were denied water from the well. The servants mistook Gandhi as well as uh, uh, Rajkumar Shukla as a share cropper of low caste. किसी नीची जाति का व्यक्ति समझ के उन्होंने इनको किसी तरह की अनुमति नहीं दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ वॉज गांधी एबल टू इंफ्लुएंस द लॉयर्स गांधी ने कैसे वकीलों को प्रभावित किया कैसे वो वकीलों को प्रभावित करने में सक्षम हुए वकील बड़े पढ़े लिखे लोग थे बड़े पावरफुल लोग थे वकील बड़े अमीर लोग थे और वकीलों की कमाई का जरिया तो एक किसान थे किसानों से मोटी मोटी फीस लेके वो ऐशो आराम की जिंदगी जी रहे थे उनको कैसे गांधी ने कन्विंस कराया दैट इज द क्वेश्चन हाउ गांधी सक्सीडेड इन चेंजिंग द एडवोकेट्स थॉट्स मैनी लॉयर्स कम टू एडवाइज गांधी एंड दे कम टू हेल्प हिम यू रिमेंबर एंड दे आज गांधी दैट इफ यू गो टू जेल वॉट डू वी डू यूर वील गो होम इनफैक्ट गांधी आज दम कि वॉट विल हैपन इफ आई गो टू जेल वॉट विल यू पीपल डू यू नो द आंसर दे सेड वील गो बैक होम बिकॉज यू हैव कम हियर टू हेल्प यू If you will be in jail, there is no need for us to be here. Gandhi retorted back. Gandhi shot back. He said, "No. What will happen to these poor farmers? मेरे जेल जाने के बाद आप यदि सब चले जाएंगे घर तो गरीब किसानों का क्या होगा? What will happen to them? And then Gandhi said, "आप लोग यहाँ आसपास रहते हैं." सोचिए ऑल लॉयर्स कम टूगेदर डिस्कस एंड दे से ए मैन लाइक गांधी हु डज नॉट बिलोंग टू चंपारण गांधी हु डजेंट हैव एनी रिलेशन विथ चंपारण इज विलिंग टू गो टू जेल फॉर देम एंड वी आर लिविंग अराउंड वी आर इन दिस एरिया what will people think of us so that changed the whole scene gandhi ne unko kaha ki aap log yahan ke rehne wale log hain inki madad kaun karega fir tab inke samajh mein aaya the lawyers felt that now we too are ready we are also ready to help and go to jail gandhi said okay fine good the first victory we have won the first battle gandhi was able to influence the lords and declare the battle of champaran is won next question instead of going to champaran straight from kolkata gandhi went to muzaffarpur why the answer is he wanted to do extensive research before reaching champaran वो पूरी तरह छानबीन कर लेना चाहते थे चंपारण की घटनाओं के बारे में इससे पहले कि वो चंपारण पहुंचे वे चाहते थे ही वॉन्टेड दैट बिफोर आई रीच चंपारण आई मस्ट बी आई मस्ट हैव फुल फैक्ट्स ऑन माय फिंगर टिप्स आई मस्ट हैव क्लियर पिक्चर ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन इन माई माइंड and that is why gandhi did not go straight away 
he went to Mujaffarpur and at Mujaffarpur he met many people, talked to them about the issues at Champaran and tried to figure out the problems. Next question, why did Gandhi chide the lawyers? Chide matlab? Phatkarna, latalna. I told you. So Gandhi ji ne vakilon ko Mujaffarpur mein kyon latala? Because lawyers called on Gandhi to brief him about the happenings at Champaran and told them that we often take fees from them and they come to us and we fight the case for them and all that. That is how we help the farmers. By taking their cases to the court, we help the farmers. That is what lawyers said. But at the same time, they were charging high fees also. Hearing this, Gandhi felt a little unhappy. Secondly, when Gandhi said, in case I go to jail, what will you people do? And so the advocate said, we'll go back to our places because we came to help you. If you will not be there, there is no point being in Majaffar, we'll go back. On this, Gandhi chided. At this, Gandhi expressed his displeasure and said, mind you, you belong to this area. These people are the same people who live along with you. And so, think of their problem. Think of their issues. They can't pay fees and you are charging them. So he chided that for them. Next question. What was the problem of sharecroppers, indigo sharecroppers at Champaran that drove Rajkumar Shukla to meet Gandhi and complain to him? Kya samasyayin thi Champaran ki jise lekar Rajkumar Shukla Gandhi se milte hain? The answer is, most of the cultivators, most of the uh, cultivable lands was owned by English people, but cultivated by Indian farmers. Kheti karte the Bharti, par wo jameen thi kis angrejon ki. And indigo was the main crop there. It was a commercial crop. The English landlord, they had agreements with a kind of contract with these farmers, Indian farmers. And accordingly, 15% of their total holding will be surrendered. 15% of total holding with indigo and surrender the entire harvest to them as rent. जितनी जमीन में आप खेती कर रहे हो उसके 15 प्रतिशत में इंडिगो की खेती करोगे और पूरा का पूरा इंडिगो हमको दोगे मतलब देखिए 15% जमीन में इंडिगो पर मेहनत करना और उसको किराए के रूप में अंग्रेजों को दे देना इंडिगो क्योंकि कमर्शियल क्रॉप थी उससे बहुत ज्यादा कमाई होती थी और बचे हुए 85% में किसान जो खेती करता था उससे उसकी कोई कमाई नहीं होती थी विशेष उससे उसका अपना जीवन का गुजारा होता था बस, but contract was like that. Now what happens? The problem was that when this is not the problem, this was the problem, but real problem came when Germany started producing artificial indigo, developed synthetic indigo, and so there was no need for this land or agricultural indigo. And so what happened? To free the peasant from this 15% contract, landlord said that uh, give us compensation. उन्होंने कहा कि 15% अब हमको जरूरत नहीं है, क्योंकि अब तो कृत्रिम इंडिगो होने लगा है. So what you do is you take this land also for your general crop, but give us compensation, हमको ख्षति पूर्ति दो. किसानों ने कहा भाई, already एक समझोते के था, हम आपको हर बार दे रहे हैं, इंडिगो, कि एवज में रेंट, अब यदि artificial इंडिगो आ गया है, तो हमारे 
हम क्यों उसका कॉम्पेंसेशन दें नाउ द लॉन्ग टर्म कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड स्लेव द फार्मर्स ये जो लंबे टर्म का था कॉन्ट्रैक्ट उससे फार्मर जो थे एक तरीके से गुलाम बन गए थे दे हैड नो फ्रीडम ऑफ देयर ओन दे वर फुल्ली डिपेंडेंट ऑन द विल एंड द मर्सी ऑफ द ब्रिटिश लैंड लॉर्ड्स वेन द सिचुएशन चेंजेस आर्टिफिशियल और दिस काइंड ऑफ सिंथेटिक इंडिगो कम्स टू मार्केट द डिमांड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ इंडिगो गोज डाउन डिमांड गोज डाउन तो ब्रिटिश शुड फील अफेक्टेड बट इंस्टेड दे पुट द बर्डन ऑन इंडियन फार्मर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ चंपारण रिएक्ट टू गांधी जी receiving an official notice to quit champaran how did residents of champaran react to gandhi ji receiving an official notice to leave champaran what is the answer they reacted very strongly they got angry they all gathered at motihari when they heard that gandhi is is the man who actually came here to help us and so who is that gandhi who came to help us and who is being driven out by the british all gathered at motihari in big number they had also heard that uh, with this notice there is some trouble gandhi is being packed off and so in thousand these people gathered in front of the court to demonstrate to show their support for gandhi to show their anger against the notice because though they did not know gandhi they knew that there is a man called gandhi who actually was coming to help us and these british notice british officers are stopping him this was the beginning of their liberation from the fear of british might angrezi satta ki taakat ka jo bhay tha uske samapt hone ki ye shuruaat ki motihari mein anjane vyakti ke ko dekhne ke support mein ye log itni badi sankhya mein aaye aur ye isliye champaran bahut important hai next question what was the impact of farmers dem- demonstration at motihari firstly the impact was unity it showed the unity among the farmers unity showed strength the belief in strength unity started the second impact was that it gave a moral support to gandhi gandhi who had gone to champaran it was a kind of first of his experiment in india with the masses so the motihari crowd made gandhi feel yes things are working here third it shook the british angrez logon ko hila diya for the first time the british were shaken for the first time there was an indian crowd who was opposing the british notice and peacefully all peacefully british could not know they were uh, they were uh, you know sort of uh, they were shocked to see the crowd and they didn't know what to do aise shantipri crowd ko kaise bhagaye kaise hataye samajh nahi aaya fourth you remember they had to take the british had to take the help of gandhi to maintain this crowd to maintain peace among the crowd they knew that these farmers have come for gandhi and so they need the help of gandhi to disperse this crowd and fifth that this demonstration it brought self confidence among indians seeing this demonstration advocates also later joined 
बाद में एडवोकेट्स भी आए एंड स्लोली 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 द क्राउड वेंट ऑन इंक्रीजिंग इन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ऑल्सो लेटर बट इट ऑल स्टार्टेड विथ चंपारण नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गांधी वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ ड्यूटीज यू रिमेंबर वॉट इज दैट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ ड्यूटीज सो द क्वेश्चन इज Gandhi was involved in conflict of duties what did he ultimately decide and why ultimately matlab antata unhone kya tay kiya do duties unke samne thi kis duty ko unhone prathmikta di gandhi did not want to set a bad example he did not want to break law and set bad example but at the same time He didn't want to give up the fight for the poor people of Champaran. So he thought it better to hear the voice of his conscience, अपने अंतरात्मा की आवाज सुनी, and he said it is better to disobey the law for the good of, for the betterment of, for the improvement of the farmer. I have to disobey the law. There is no other out. Though I, I personally feel. that breaking the law is not good but situation is such that i have to next question what was the attitude of average indians in smaller localities toward advocates of home rule home rule ke paksh mein jo log the swaraj ke jo samarthak the unke prati chote ilakon mein logo ka kya kehna tha the average indian in smaller areas they were indifferent home indifferent towards advocates of home rule jo log swaraj ki baat karte the unke prati chote area ke logon ka nazariya kuch dusra hi tha wo log us indifferent hona matlab koi asar na padna andekha karna स्वराज की बात करने वालों के प्रति समाज के जो छोटे तबके के लोग थे वो एक तरीके से अनदेखा कर दिए थे उनका कहना था बहुत बड़ी बातें कर रहे हो दे वे रादर फियरफुल इन शोइंग सिंपेथी उनको बल्कि डर लग रहा था कि यदि हम होम रूल की बात करने वालों के को सहानुभूति दिखाएंगे तो अंग्रेज हमको पकड़ के ले जाएंगे उनको क्या होगा हम नहीं जानते पर हमको गिरफ्तार कर लेंगे तो डर से भी डर के कारण भी लोग खुलकर सामने नहीं आ रहे थे होम रूल के पक्ष में स्वराज के पक्ष में डर के कारण इसीलिए तो गांधी ने कहा कि सबसे पहली चीज है मन से डर निकालो द कॉमन मैन वॉज सप्रेस्ड एक्सप्लाइटेड क्रश्ड एंड इट वॉज ओनली आफ्टर गांधी हु रिमूव दैट फियर फ्रॉम द माइंड ऑफ इंडियंस दैट people from smaller localities also came out in large number thousands of farmers came out and with that the scene begins to change with that the the whole thing changes freedom from fear is more important than the legal justice for the poor next question this is a quotation uddharan hai फ्रीडम फ्रॉम फियर इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन लीगल जस्टिस कानूनी न्याय गरीबों को कानूनी न्याय देने से ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण उन्हें भय से मुक्त कराना है डू यू थिंक दैट द पुअर ऑफ इंडिया आर फ्री फ्रॉम फियर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यस फ्रीडम फ्रॉम फियर इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट वॉज प्रूव बाई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन How was Gandhi able to influence the lawyers? Gandhi ne kaise vakilon ko prabhavit kiya? Kaise wo vakilon ko prabhavit karne mein saksham hue? Vakil bade padhe likhe log the, bade powerful log the, vakil bade amir log the, aur vakilon ki kamai ka jariya to ek kisan the. किसानों से मोटी मोटी फीस लेके वो ऐशो आराम की जिंदगी जी रहे थे उनको कैसे गांधी ने कन्विंस कराया दैट इज द क्वेश्चन हाउ गांधी सक्सीडेड 
in changing the advocate's thoughts. Many lawyers come to advise Gandhi and they come to help him. You remember? And they ask Gandhi that if you go to jail, what do we do here? We'll go home. In fact, Gandhi asked them, okay, what will happen if I go to jail? What will you people do? You know the answer. They said, we'll go back home because we have come here to help you. If you will be in jail, there is no need for us to be here. Gandhi retorted back. Gandhi shot back. He said, no. What will happen to these poor farmers? Mere jail jane ke baad aap yadi sab chale jayenge ghar, to garib kisano ka kya hoga? What will happen to them? And then Gandhi says, aap log yahan aas paas rehte hain, sochiye. All lawyers come together, discuss, and they say, a man like Gandhi, who does not belong to Champaran, Gandhi, who doesn't have any relation with Champaran, is willing to go to jail for them. And we are living around, we are in this area, what will people think of us? So, that changed the whole scene. Gandhi said that you are the people who are living here. Who will help them? Then they understood that the lawyers felt that now we too are ready. We are also ready to help and go to jail. Gandhi said, okay, fine, good. The first victory is, we have won the first battle. Gandhi was able to influence the laws and declare the battle of Champaran is won. Freedom from fear is more important than the legal justice for the poor. Next question. This is a quotation. Freedom from fear is more important than legal justice. Kanuni nyaya. Garibon ko kanuni nyaya dene se jada mahatpoorn. Unhain bhai se mukt karana hai. Do you think that the poor of India are free from fear? A very important question. Yes, freedom from fear is more important. And that was proved by Gandhi while his movement at Champaran. The justice was already being given to the farmers through the advocates in the court of law. But did anything change for indigo farmers? They were spending large amount as fee for the advocates. They might have been winning also sometimes in the court, but overall condition of farmers was very bad. It remained very bad. And so Gandhi's tried to highlight the importance of freedom of, from fear rather than legal help. And that is why he appealed to the advocates, the dear friends, do everything to support these farmers. And by that he meant give them moral support, not legal support. Don't go to the court with their cases. Bycott court, so far as their cases are concerned, support them morally and that will remove fear from their mind. Unko jab lagega kisano ko ki vakil log, padhe likhe log, ab humare saath hai, humare paksh mein hai, to unke man se bhai niklega. It will remove fear from them. A few small questions now. How and why did Rajkumar succeed in persuading Gandhi to come to Champaran? To persuade karna matlab manana. So Rajkumar Shukla Gandhi ko manane mein kaise safal, safal Number one, 
he went all the way from Champaran to Lucknow to talk to Gandhi. Champaran to Lucknow, that day, and that was also a poor person. It was a very big thing. Secondly, he went round with Gandhi. He followed Gandhi wherever Gandhi went. And that made Gandhi feel this man is very serious about what he wants to come for, what he wants to speak about. Third, when Gandhi gave the appointment, he willingly said, yes, we come, I follow you, I'll join you. And he accompanied him to Champaran. So this way Shukla was persistent. Lagatar Gandhi ke piche pada tha. He accompanied Gandhi to all the places also. And that is the reason that Gandhi agreed for going to Champaran. Next question. How did the residents of Champaran react to Gandhi ji receiving an official notice to quit Champaran? How did Residents of Champaran react to Gandhi ji receiving an official notice to leave Champaran. What is the answer? They reacted very strongly. They got angry. They all gathered at Motihari when they heard that Gandhi is the man who actually came here to help us. And so who is that Gandhi? who came to help us and who is being driven out by the British, all gathered at Motihari in big number. They had also heard that uh, with this notice, there is some trouble. Gandhi is being packed off. And so in thousand, these people gathered in front of the court to demonstrate, to show their support for Gandhi to show their anger against the notice because though they did not know Gandhi, they knew that there is a man called Gandhi who actually was coming to help us and these British notice, British officers are stopping him. This was the beginning of their liberation from the fear of British might. Angreji Satta ki taakat ka jo bhai tha, उसके समाप्त होने की ये शुरुआत है कि मोतिहारी में अनजाने व्यक्ति के को देखने के सपोर्ट में ये लोग इतनी बड़ी संख्या में आए और ये इसीलिए चंपारण बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वाज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ फार्मर्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एट मोतिहारी फर्स्टली द इम्पैक्ट वाज यूनिटी it showed the unity among the farmers. Unity showed strength. The belief in strength, unity started. The second impact was that it gave a moral support to Gandhi. Gandhi who had gone to Champaran, it was a kind of first of his experiment in India with the masses. So the Motihari crowd made Gandhi feel, yes, things are working here. Third, it shook the British. Angrej Long ko hila diya. For the first time, the British were shaken. For the first time, there was an Indian crowd who was opposing the British notice. And peacefully, all peacefully, British could not know. They were, uh, they were, uh, you know, sort of, uh, they were shocked to see the crowd and they didn't know what to do. Aise shantipri crowd ko kaise bhagayen, kaise hatayen, thamad nahi aya. Fourth, you remember, they had to take, the British had to take the help of Gandhi to maintain this crowd, to maintain peace among the crowd. They knew that these farmers have come for Gandhi. And so, they need the help of Gandhi to disperse this crowd. And fifth, that 
this demonstration brought self confidence among indians seeing this demonstration advocates also later joined baad mein advocates bhi aaye and slowly 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 the crowd went on increasing in other parts of the country also later but it all started with champaran next question gandhi was involved in conflict of duties you remember what is that conflict of duties so the question is gandhi was involved in conflict of duties what did he ultimately decide and why ultimately matlab antata unhone kya tay kiya do duties unke samne thi kis duty ko unhone prathmikta di gandhi did not want to set a bad example he did not want to break law and set bad example but at the same time he didn't want to give up the fight for the poor people of champaran so he thought it better to hear the voice of his conscience apne antaratma ki awaaz suni and he said it is better to disobey the law for the good of for the betterment of for the improvement of the farmer i have to disobey the law there is no other out do i i personally feel that breaking the law is not good but situation is such that i have to how was gandhi and shukla treated by rajend prasad servants next question how was ya yeah, how were because there are two people how were gandhi and his accomplice shukla rajkumar shukla treated by the servant they were not treated properly because rajend prasad was not there he was out of station servant could not recognize who these people are they thought him to be some kind of a chhut people they were asked to stay outside and they were not even allowed to take out water they were denied water from the well the servants mistook gandhi as well as uh, uh, rajkumar shukla as a share cropper of low caste kisi niche jati ka vyakti samajh ke unhone inko kisi tarah ki anumati nahi di